I tend to see uh, children um, who have uh, benign bleeding disorders or any benign blood disorders. Our patients will come to us from their pediatrician and the pediatrician would have concerns about um, any bruising that they may have or abnormal bleeding in response to maybe an injury or trauma. Um, or sometimes they have prolonged nosebleeds, for example. And so when families come to us, uh, we spend quite a bit of time going through what their history is as it relates to um, any uh, bleeding issues or blood clotting issues. Um, and uh, we also spend quite a bit of time going through their family history as a lot of these disorders can be inherited from mom or dad's side of the family. We have quite a few patients who will be referred for mild symptoms, maybe some intermittent bruising that um, does not pan out to be much of anything. And so they'll have a workup completed through blood work or imaging if they need it. And um, we'll, we'll essentially discharge them from our care if things seem to be normal for them. You can know that we are invested in your child right from the get-go. We understand that you're coming to see a specialist and you know it, it is a, a scary um, thing for your child and you to go through when you have to come out of your comfort zone from who your pediatrician is. We work very closely with our pediatricians here in the community and we, we know them quite well and we, we interact with them as much as we possibly can. So many times the pediatricians are already reached out to us to tell us about your case specifically. And, and we try and uh, make sure that we keep an open line of communication so you, you can be assured that that, that does happen.